Welcome to our channel. Pass your DMV. Get ready to ace your DMV permit test with us. We'll cover essential topics, boost your confidence, and have you road ready in no time. Hit play and let's drive towards success together. Don't forget to subscribe for more driving wisdom. Let's roll. Question 1. If an officer is directing traffic at a working traffic light, drivers should. Option A. Follow the directions indicated by the traffic light. Option B. Follow the directions given by the officer. Option C. Check to see what the cars next to them are doing. The correct answer is Option B. Traffic signals are placed at intersections to keep traffic moving and to help prevent crashes. Drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists must obey these signals, except in instances when an officer is directing traffic. Question 2. Highway markings? Option A. Are only found in construction zones. Option B. Provide information for drivers. Option C. Are usually red and blue in color. The correct answer is Option B. Highway markings provide information for drivers. Markings help drivers correctly position their vehicles on roadways, inform drivers of safe passing zones, and warn drivers about upcoming conditions. Question 3. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as? Option A. The effect that alcohol has. Option B. The effect that amphetamines have. Option C. The effect that driving with teenagers has. The correct answer is. Option A. Fatigue and being under the influence of alcohol have similar effects on your ability to drive safely. For example, being awake for 18 hours impairs your driving about as much as a blood alcohol level of 0.05%. Being awake for 24 hours in a row has the same effect on your driving as a blood alcohol level of 0.1%. Question 4. A person who drives much slower than the speed limit. Option A. Always has the right of way. Option B. Should not let following cars pass. Option C. May create a dangerous driving environment. The correct answer is. Option C. Driving more slowly than the flow of traffic can be hazardous. If you are on a two-lane, two-way road and driving so slowly that traffic is backing up behind you, you are required to pull off the road and let the other vehicles pass. Only drive significantly under the speed limit when conditions require it. Question 5. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance. Option A. Over your right shoulder. Option B. At your side mirror. Option C. Over your left shoulder. The correct answer is. Option C. To check your blind spot, glance over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. Question. 6. A solid white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates. Option. A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. Option. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Option C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. The correct answer is Option C. White lines are used to separate traffic moving in the same direction. Solid lines indicate that drivers are not permitted to pass. Question 7. You must yield for emergency vehicles. Option A. Under no circumstances. Option B. When you see a flashing red or blue light or hear a siren. Option C. Only when other vehicles yield. The correct answer is. Option B. 
you must yield the right-of-way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren or flashing lights. Question. 8. This sign means. Option. A. Trucks only. Option. B. Trucks are entering the highway. Option. C. Upcoming hill. The correct answer is. Option C. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that drivers are approaching a steep hill and should prepare to adjust their speeds to continue to drive safely. Question. 9. Which of the following is true about driving on a wet roadway? Option. A. As you drive faster, your tires become less effective. Option. B. Water does not affect cars with good tires. Option. C. Deep water is less dangerous than shallow water. The correct answer is. Option A. The faster you drive on a wet roadway, the less effective your tires will be at wiping the water from the road. If your speed becomes excessive enough, your tires will lose their grip on the road entirely and you will begin to hydroplane, that is, to slide down the road on a film of water. Question. 10. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by. Option. A. Turning on your car radio. Option. B. Slowing down. Option. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. The correct answer is. Option C. To prevent drowsiness on long trips, you should schedule regular stops. Give yourself time to rest and stretch, even if you are not feeling tired. Question. 11. Drive below the posted speed limit when. Option. A. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. Option. B. You see a police car. Option. C. Entering a highway where there are other cars. The correct answer is. Option A. When the road is wet or slippery, when you cannot see well, or when anything else makes conditions less than perfect, drive below the posted speed limit. Even if you are driving within the posted speed limit, you can still be ticketed for driving too fast for conditions. Question. 12. The consumption of alcohol while taking drugs can? Option. A. Decrease the effects of the drugs and alcohol. Option. B. Increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. Option. C. Help cure your illness. The correct answer is. Option B. The combination of alcohol and drugs, in some cases, can increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. It can be unsafe to drive after consuming either alcohol or drugs, and is even more dangerous after combining them. Question. 13. Highway hypnosis is a driving condition that can result from Option A. Staring at the roadway for long periods of time. Option B. Frequent rest stops. Option C. Too much sleep the night before your trip. The correct answer is Option A. Highway hypnosis happens when you stare straight ahead at the roadway for long periods of time and stop actively scanning ahead, behind, and around your vehicle. This can lead you to zone out, making you very likely to crash into traffic slowing or stopping ahead of you. Question. 14. A red traffic signal light means that you must. Option. A. Stop at the stop line. Option. B. Stop before entering the intersection. Option. C. All of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. A red traffic light means that you must stop before entering the intersection. You must at any stop line and before entering any crosswalk. Question. 15. A flashing yellow light at an intersection means that you should. Option. A. Slow down and proceed with care. Option. B. 
Continue normally through the intersection. Option. C. Stop and proceed when a green light appears. The correct answer is. Option A. A flashing yellow light at an intersection means caution. If you approach such a light, slow down, look, and proceed with care. Question. 16. What might happen when alcohol is combined with another drug? Option. A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Option. B. Nothing will happen. Option. C. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be reduced. The correct answer is. Option A. Consuming both alcohol and another drug may enhance the effects of both. For example, taking one drink when you are also using a cold remedy could affect you as if you have had several drinks. Question. 17. A speed limit is? Option. A. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under dangerous conditions. Option. B. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. Option. C. The suggested speed to travel on a road under ideal conditions. The correct answer is. Option B. A speed limit is the maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. You must drive more slowly where signs or signs indicate a school zone or work zone speed limit. If conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe, drive under the speed limit. Question. 18. This sign means? Option. A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds allowed. Option. B. Hill ahead. Option. C. Truck stop ahead. The correct answer is. Option B. This sign warns that there is a steep hill ahead. Question. 19. If you reach an intersection where you wish to turn, but you are not in the proper lane, you should. Option. A. Quickly cut across traffic to make your turn. Option. B. Turn on your blinker and make the turn from your current lane. Option. C. Drive to the next intersection and make your turn then. The correct answer is. Option C. Never make last-minute turns. If you reach an intersection where you wish to turn but you are not in the proper lane to make the turn, drive to the next intersection and then make the turn from the proper lane. Question. 20. This road sign means? Option. A. Sharp turn to the right. Option. B. Double curve. Option. C. Winding road. The correct answer is. Option C. This sign indicates that the road ahead wins with a series of turns or curves. Question. 21. A diamond-shaped sign is A. Option. A. Road hazard sign. Option. B. Interstate route sign. Option. C. School crossing sign. The correct answer is. Option A. Warning signs are normally diamond shaped and yellow, although orange warning signs are used in work areas. Such signs warn that you are approaching a hazardous location or an area where special rules apply. Question. 22. An inattentive driver is a driver who? Option. A. Stares at objects off the roadway or daydreams while driving. Option. B. Maintains eye contact during a conversation with a passenger while driving. Option. C. All of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Do not become distracted by looking at passengers, attempting to find something in your vehicle, looking at reading material, sightseeing, or daydreaming while driving. Continue scanning the road, checking your mirrors, and looking at the instrument panel at regular intervals. 
Developing these safe habits will keep you attentive as a driver. Question. 23. You approach an emergency vehicle that is stopped with its lights flashing. You must. Option. A. Slow down. If possible, change lanes so you will not drive next to the stopped emergency vehicle. Option. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Option. C. Stay in your lane and continue to drive at the same speed. The correct answer is. Option A. If you approach an emergency vehicle, tow truck, or roadside assistance vehicle that is stopped with its lights flashing, you must change lanes to allow the vehicle extra space. If there is only one lane moving in your direction, or if changing lanes would be unsafe, you must slow down to a speed below the posted speed limit and give the stationary vehicle as much room as possible. Always slow down and be prepared to stop when you approach an emergency scene. Question. 24. Don't follow other cars too closely, because? Option. A. You may not see the road between the cars. Option. B. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. Option. C. You may not see the vehicle's turn signals. The correct answer is. Option B. If you follow too closely and the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly, you may not have enough time to avoid a collision. Question. 25. What does an orange colored sign indicate? Option. A. The start of a no passing zone. Option. B. A railroad crossing is ahead. Option. C. The presence of construction work. The correct answer is. Option C. Construction, maintenance, and emergency operations signs are generally orange with black symbols.